got the opportunity to treat myself to a soak at the St. Charles Hotel in downtown Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. And this is one of the bath houses where they have a women's side and a men's side. And you are able to soak in these single stalls, single tubs, and as you can see, a reclining tub that was so comfortable and peaceful. Just amazing. Truly. Hey everybody, I'm Marion the Inappropriate Artist here, and today I'm going to talk to you about, I have to do a little bit of an update. So, I have a lot of new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm so grateful because they're actually watching. So, yay! I really appreciate that. <laughs> and I'm no, I'm getting better at editing. So, I'm making them more, they have more flow than they used to have. And I don't always speak with great flow. But since I've started making TikTok videos, I've gotten better something about having to be so concise. But this is my vlog. So I'm going to give you an update on my artistic life and my book life. Okay, so I am, let's sum up for all new subscribers. I am Marion, the inappropriate artist, and I am out painting all 50 states. I am writing a series of books on my artistic, my artistic journey and the, these travels, because this is my artistic journey. Um, so the, I started writing the book, really giving it time this last summer. And I've gotten to, I've gotten as far as St. Augustine, Florida, which is basically like two and a half weeks into the journey uh, after getting into the van, right? So I'm not really that far along in the book, but here's the thing. So when I first left, I thought I would do it all on a laptop. Turns out, as I've been in my travels, I have discovered that that does not work for me. Something gets lost, but also my dyslexia wreaks havoc. Um, I'm spending too much time correcting, filling in the blanks, um, and then losing track of my thought. So I had to put it aside and decide I'm just going to live the content for now until I'm ready. And then this summer, someone allotted me very generously. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enough money to sit still and focus only on the book. So I didn't have to hawk my art and I didn't have to um, worry about paying my bills at the same time, right? So everything got paid. I was able to eat. I was able to sleep in a safe place and then dedicate hours a day focused on writing my book. And I chose... Because over the course of the last two and a half years, I have learned uh, about me is that what I have learned about me is that I do better when I write with my hands. So, and writing in script. So this is how I have chosen to move forward. Um, but those two and a half months, those two months ended and I have, I am back on the road and I'm back in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico because I have a gallery here who represents me and I wanted to put together another body of work for them, which I have successfully achieved. And I realized that while I am here, two and a half years, this van has been through And my approach to things has changed so much and, and in, in a much more healthy way. So before, I had just this goal, right? I'm going to paint all 50 states and I'm going to put out one book. 
Well, as time has gone by, I realize this is so much more than just that. And if I wait for me to get to all 50 states to paint them, first of all, I can't afford to do it with speed because gas has become, it's, it's made it, well, you all know, <laughs> and I'm not abusing it for sure. Um, so there's that. Uh, but you know, one of the things that's happened is, is as I've gone from state to state, I missed, I started missing community. Um, and I have found a couple of places where I've been able to, to develop that for myself. And this is one of them. And I have wonderful friendships here that I think are, some of them are lifelong, I think. And so this is a place I will always come back to, whether it is going to be a permanent residence someday. I don't know. But for now, um, I promised myself and uh, my community three months. And here, so I, because I want to investigate the whole area, right? And really get to know it because it's it's incredible and that's what I'm talking about how my trajectory has changed so originally I was like oh I'm just gonna go out I'm gonna paint a painting of all 50 states I'm gonna make a book and that's gonna be it and it's gonna be a coffee table book with a couple of clips which may still happen eventually don't get me you know that may still be something that happens but I, as I began working this summer, I realized that it's a series of books that I'm working on. So the book is going to begin. I have a number of old journals and I can't afford to stop right now to do all of that work. And that's a lot of emotional work, by the way, having to read through all these old journals to find content for the book. That's honest. Um... So, and that being said, right, like having to travel all the time, that, 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 that's not the time to be doing it. Um, and I also, yeah, so that's not the time to be doing it. Um, so this first book, um, I, I'm going to need another period of time sitting still somewhere at some point to do that and it needs to be a safe place for me and I'd like to do it with a person so I don't know who how where when or what yet um but I think for me with all of I want to do this in a healthy way and I could very easily be re-traumatizing myself by opening up things and looking into them again and, and one of the things that I have learned from myself that is good and safe is that I do that with uh, the right people my, to surround myself with so that I can do it in a healthy way. So if things do pop up, I have resources. Anyway, God, I digressed again. Because all of that traffic disappeared, I had to rely on the internet. And it turned out to be amazing, right? And I have been able to support this journey through contributions. Well, wait. Let me say that again. I worded that incorrectly. I have been able to get this far because of all of the people who have held me up along the way and basically on their hands carried me across these United States. And for that, I am truly grateful. And it, it feels so validating to wake up every day knowing that there are people who want me to succeed. I know that I don't need that to move forward for myself 
But I'll tell you what, it makes it a heck of a lot more joyful, doesn't it? I feel like I'm doing this with all of you. And, and that also feels incredible. I did so much. I in Most of my life was spent being someone who thought I had to accomplish everything by myself. And that was the reason I left and did this the way that I did it. I needed to learn how to be vulnerable. I needed to learn how to trust that other people cared about me. And that if I reached out for help, someone somewhere would respond. And I needed to be okay with needing help. And for this human, that means taking away all of the regular support things. And universe made sure I cannot function well for long periods of time. My hands don't function well, especially for long periods of time. So I can't, I feel like the universe just sort of told me it's, this is now your time to do this. And, and why is this not a job? And I I had to go through that whole process for myself let alone hearing other people out there going, get a job. That I was making a job for myself. And my goal is to fully fund this through passive income and painting sale. So right now, here comes the update. It's mostly painting sales. It's about 60% painting sales, 40% contributions. And I'm very excited to be able to say that. That is, And it's been consistent. I wouldn't say it if it hasn't been consistent. So for the last year, we are now in November. I can look from January to November... Even with the generous two months, right, over the summer, including that, it's 60% art sales. So I, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And that being said, my next goal. Okay. Because I, here's the deal. 50 states. How many states do I still need to paint? Right. Um, I still need, I've been to, I've been through, I've driven through 31 states altogether. Uh, the only way I can do this is to tell you the states I have not painted. I have not painted Massachusetts, New Jersey, Delaware. I have only painted the eastern shore of Virginia, and I do feel Virginia deserves a little more than just the eastern shore. Uh, I have not painted California. Yeah, so four states. Four states out of the... Have I painted Arizona? No. Okay, five states. I started a painting. Oh, no, I did one little... I didn't take a photograph of it, though. I gave it to the neighbor. I didn't photograph it, so that doesn't count. Because I have to have something that can be used in the book. So, yeah. All right. Um, I don't, I haven't painted anything in Arizona yet. So, five states. 
fast, five steep. But when I passed through and got to, when I passed through Arizona and got to Nevada and I spent so much time in that, all that BLM land that surrounds Las Vegas without having to spend much time in the actual city proper. Because I have city anxiety, people. I just don't. I can't. It's too much. It's too much for me. Too much information all of the time. I cannot tell you how much better my life is because there is no television involved in my life. I can limit it. I have so much control. I don't have to listen to someone else watching the television all the time. Right? Big thing for this person. Anyway, now that I have to shut that off. Um, so when I got to Las Vegas, I realized like I was, I, and I, I had to sit still again because I had limited funds and I was doing my taxes and I had to wait for the, all of that had to happen. So I ended up being there for six weeks having to move around the area because I had a friend I had a couple friends in the city who were being addresses for me at different times for different things uh, because both of them were going in and out of town right so I needed to make sure I could get my mail um so yeah so that's I that's when I realized like I really wanted to spend a little bit more time in each state because I got to do a hyper-focused series of work on all of the vegetation around, like, just desert flora and fauna. It, 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 I just, I, yeah. Right? Fell in love. Had so much fun painting it. And I did this, these wonderful little series. And got me realizing like the northern part of the state is so different from the southern part and I have to be careful yes because my ADHD will spiral into 70 ideas all at the same time and, and then I will think I have to do them all in a progressive order and that can be paralyzing so I have to stop myself from spiraling into the although they're fabulous ideas they're just not the ones I'm working on right now, and I gotta be careful. But I do want to have more of a focus on each of the states. But I do realize that there's also the fact that I need to move forward because if I work at the pace that I've been going at, I it's gonna take me too long. By too long, I mean like 20 years to try to do it the way I've been doing it. Uh, and that's a little, that's a little too long. I would like to complete all 50 states in 10 years. That's, to me, a fair block of time for me to complete the goal of all 50 states. And I'm two and a half years in. Um, I know it's going to take me time to get to Alaska. It's going to take me time to get to Hawaii. Um... And then if I can include the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, I would really like to, especially Puerto Rico. Um, anyway, so I, those are, I always think of them as like, okay, I, I can worry about them at the end. Uh, because all of them mean I need money to fly to get there or in the case of Alaska, I need, I'm actually thinking it might be better for me to rent the vehicle that I am going to live in during the time that I'm in Alaska. That may end up being the solution because, you know, I, I've looked into the truck camper thing and the four season truck camper and towing and trailers and all of the stuff and the fact of the matter is that anything that I choose to do is going to be a chunk of change. And I am going to have to buy a new home sooner than later because this van 
has only so much lifespan. Another reason why I have been focusing on this area is because it kind of slows the rust corrosion that's going on in this vehicle. And I need this vehicle to last me for a while longer because I do not have a savings. And that's where I'm headed with this. I would like to start achieving that. It has not been a possibility because cost of living has gone up so much. So what I used to be able to do on $700 a month now costs me $1,000 a month. No matter how hard I try. So, and I'm not even getting to do it in the, it, it, as, it, as well as I was able to do it at the $700 a month, which is even, which is really even sadder people. Let's see. This is what inflation is doing very quickly. And I am not alone in this. I know that this is too skinny. You don't have to remind me. I already know. Um, so anyway, Look at this beautiful girl. Hello, Bippy. Um, my heat is about to run out and it's distracting me, which is why I'm a uh, me. I'm a mama. I know. Goodbye, heat. It was nice to have you while I had the last bit of propane. I'm at Walmart. It's not a big deal. <laughs> okay. Back on track. Where was I? I don't know. Do I have to stop and look back? I'm making... <sighs> so I haven't picked up the camera in a while. I'm not even sure what I have filmed. <clears throat> up until this point. So I may just be editing this in and... I don't know. Today in the van studio, okay, one, absolutely freezing most of the day. Thank goodness I'm someplace where I can be plugged in and get some heat. Oh, somebody's caught. Hang on. Okay. That is my very cool looking palette right now. I scrape it off every once in a while. It looks cool. All my colors. So, today, I'll show you what I worked on. And I kind of tweaked one painting a little bit. That was an older painting. Um, it had not been varnished, and it looked like it had been... Something had rubbed on it, so I went in and just kind of gave it a little more pop so that it would cover that up and then when everything is dry and I varnish the other one I'll make sure to varnish that one as well. So here they are. This is, I'm calling this one Elephant Butte Reflections. This is the one that I touched up. There was a scratch kind of vertical right in the middle of this. So I decided to use some blue to kind of deepen the shadows and then I added reflections in the water and then this is the one I finished up today I'm calling this one lava and pear this is a prickly pear cactus that I photographed in the lava fields just north of Alamogordo and then this is a little yucca that I painted the other day here from here at Elephant Butte, you can see the lake and the San Miguel Mountains in the background. And down here we have a couple of older ones. This one is, oh, we'll start here. This one is one of the first places I parked in Apalachicola, Florida. And those, these are these like crazy pine trees that have just these fluffy tops. And I don't know whether it's because of how they prune them down there or 
if that's just how they grow naturally, but it, I always thought it was the funniest looking thing I'd ever seen. And then this is the Las Vegas desert in spring in my imagination. I was there in the winter time and all I could do was just sit there and look at it and imagine what it would look like with spring color. And I decided to paint it one morning to cheer myself. I have just one more of these little 4x4 four four canvases. Um, and I am... <clears throat> oh, that's what fell. I was wondering, I knew something fell down. Um, I do, I would like to get some more supplies. I also, the other day, finished this kettle top. I know, the glare is a little bit much, I think. Well, this isn't too bad of a shot. Right there. That one's get got some water now, so I can start hopefully getting moving on that one sooner. Yeah. So it was a productive, productive day all in all. Um, I'm really pleased. And I got I went yesterday and got tons of grocery shopping done. So because I did sell one of my. Um, flat my flat top my kettle top paintings the one with the palette knife which is very exciting and so I was able to go grocery shopping and I totally killed it in the grocery shopping department and bought all the things just all the things so that I have food that is going to last me for quite some time and I can eat well every day without thinking about it and it feels good but I am back down to like, you know, under 20 bucks. So I need to sell these guys. Uh, so these guys, that one, any of the paintings that you might be interested in. Um, so that I can buy some more canvases, some more titanium white. Um, there's a couple of other colors I'd like to buy larger, heavy body tubes of. Um, what else? I got cat litter. I feel like there was something else. Oh, and then I have, I would like to purchase more of these little 4x4 four four canvases. Um, I can get like a box of them online for somewhere around $20, $25-ish. I feel like. So... I know there's one box that comes with easels, which could be nice, but I think that just in the end is going to be me hanging on to a whole bunch of easels. Um, and then I, I, I think I would like to try, I just don't know where to store them when they're finished. They don't sell right away. Right? Doing larger paintings. That's the hard part. As much as my artwork is really much freer when I... Oh, so as much as my art is so much freer, as you can see, right? Um, and when I get larger, I just can't store that finished work in the van. So unless it's a commission... Now that y'all have seen me do a number of pieces that are larger, if you're interested in commissioning a larger painting, please let me know. I'm going to be heading... Excuse me. I had to munch. I'm going to be heading back up into Monticello when the weather warms up a little bit. Um... 
I have a my trade painting that I want to do. Um, and she and I had a conversation about it. And I think it would be... I'm excited that what she wants is an inspired painting. So... That means I need to go spend some time there. And see it at my favorite times of day. Yeah. You know. Um, I can paint something fun and fantastic and joyful out of it, right? Joyful, spiritual. That is a really spiritual spot. But you know, like, La Luz, I think what I'd like to do is go and do a bunch of sketches. And then pick sketches to work from. Because I do think there is something about catching the spirit. That moment. And this I did from life, right? No photograph involved in this. This was me. I mean, I did use my camera to zoom in on it to kind of just get where certain levels were. But I didn't shoot it to use even as a guide. Um. Oh. Somebody has a toy holla and a truck camper. Oh my goodness. But anyway, that's all, I guess that's all I'm saying today is well, thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. If you're interested in any of the paintings that you saw today in the video, please send me an email. The link is below in the description, theinappropriateartist at gmail.com. If you like today's video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to contribute, please consider doing so. It definitely propels me forward and helps me flush in art supplies. All the links are below. I have a Patreon as well as a PayPal. Have a great rest of your day, everyone. Enjoy my little nugget as she takes her evening bath after scooping her dry food out of the water dish. <laughs> Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.